Hi everyone on Yourpedia education platform and uh, this video is related to the psychometric and aptitude test. So psychometric and aptitude test is one of the requirement in the interview for intelligence bureau uh, you know that is under ministry of home affairs. So many of you are going for the interviews of that and you know interviews a significant part of that. So what do we mean by psychometric test and aptitude test? I will be discussing about that and through some examples I will be telling you what you need to prepare. So as we understand psychometric test is not a one test it is actually a group of uh, test group of different things which is uh, designed to check your cognitive ability that means your mental ability it can be in the form of quantitative test it can be verbal test so that means related to your um, uh, intelligence part uh, or your thinking then personality you know what kind of person are you so this is different from your knowledge and personality is different are you introvert extrovert what kind of individual are you that is the second thing and these are broadly two categories cognitive and personality and then depending upon the requirement of the job it can be uh, psychomotor test you know when you have to display some kind of your uh, skills like driver when you have to become a driver then you have to give a different kind of test so that is a different kind of skill so your behavior your you know different kind of uh, abilities are tested so this is the assessment tool psychometric test is a part of interview assessment tool and it checks different traits of your personality aptitude it checks temperament it checks for the job because the jobs like intelligence bureau a particular temperament people of particular temperament can only be satisfied in that job so they want to check whether you are suitable for job or not are you having that particular temperament are you having that kind of ability so your ability your personality your temperament they want to check for that there is a reason they have psychometric or aptitude test it can be numerical based it can be you know mechanical psychomotor test testing aapne karke dekha logical verbal it can be anything so uh, you know there are so many categories numerical reasoning verbal reasoning inductive reasoning diagrammatic reasoning logical reasoning error checking so ye example these are the examples of reasoning and reasoning is a one part of cognitive test so broadly if you ask anybody what is a psychometric test in majority of you know uh, organizations this is cognitive and it is personality cognitive and personality these two things like how good are you in solving some puzzle that is cognitive skill what is your personality are you introvert extrovert what kind of individual are, are you so that is a personality test and then you know they check your aptitude interest intelligence those kind of things are also there so you will find different kind of classification in the aptitude test cognitive test you know it can be verbal ability numerical ability special ability closer reasoning uh, psychomotor ability so that can be aptitude test personality test may they check whether you are a open kind of individual reserved kind of individual conscientious extra extrovert introvert agreeable uh, what kind of individual you are so those kind of things they are going to check it interest me also uh, what kind of interest do you have social interest enterprising you are conventional so they check those kind of things also now i found different kind of slides from the internet and uh, they have classified the psychometric test as i told you largely uh, depends what job you are going for they want to check different things but largely the classification of psychometric test are cognitive that is your knowledge your thinking your mind related things and personality largely these are two type of psychometric test then obviously if i am recruiting somebody for sales and marketing you must have seen the typical you know in the movies that scene comes when they say okay can you sell this pen for us no they are sell this pen to me sell this thing to me that that they are that is also psychometric test uh, situational test they they will give you a situation this is the situation now can you sell this product to them for sales person they are checking that so uh, as i told you this is the best slide which tells you psychometric test can be broadly classified cognitive and personality and you are to prepare yourself on these things this is checked through the test aapne reasoning aptitude ke jo test kiye hain wo sara yahi check karta hai i'll give you example and personality is through situation also they can understand you and through questions also they can check all these things what value system you have what behavior you will display how much motivated you are what is your attitude for particular thing what kind of traits you have positive or negative traits those things are there and cognitive may all these things which you have done even for gate exam 
for gate exam reasoning and aptitude that is you know decision and judgment making case studies ke through it will come problem solving logical critical reasoning verbal ability so this all you have already done for your exam now broadly personality wise mein they check these things so these are english word and if you enter the in the words into a dictionary you will find the meaning of that so they want to check where do you stand on particular scale for particular job maybe they don't want you to be very agreeable they want you to be hostile or vice versa they don't want you to be hostile in particular situation you should be agreeable so for particular things that is required so suppose i am recruiting you for hotel management i do not want the manager to be hostile with the customer that is not acceptable right that is how it is to be there for scientist okay you are introvert does not matter but for you know public speaking you cannot be Uh, introvert i cannot afford to have introvert hr manager right so this is how it is to be done so introvert extrovert you know the meaning of that what kind of person is that so i can frame the questions and check what kind of person are you so in the group of uh, people who are sitting there where would you like to sit on this table or that table where you like? they will give you a situation and they maybe they will check you uh, the, your personality so uh, whether you will be a good person to work in a team or not so that is uh, how these personalities are checked so there are different kind of personality that organization will decide like intelligence bureau they must be having something in their mind that what kind of person they want and then they will check your personality on the basis of that they will check whether you are on these personality uh, parameters where do you stand that is what they want to check and this i already discussed with you the type and you know uh, there are certain behavior which are agreeable which are dis, uh, you know not desirable behavior for example uh, they don't want you know uh, you t- they want you to be reliable they don't want you to unreliable so they check that through some kind of question right uh, they want you to be uh, you know good uh, optimistic individual not negative uh, individual so they want you to collaborate with others in the team work right so you should have uh, you know work drives so you should have work drives you should be willing to push yourself uh, beyond your limits and work really hard those kind of things they want you to do now these are typical examples which i am giving you now which can be asked to you in this all psychometric test so uh, this already you have done i mean something is missing you have to fill it up what is the sequence it is going so that they are going to check your reasoning particular reasoning you know so uh, find the odd one out that is also cognitive test reasoning they are checking you know that particular thing this is also special special uh, you know skills cognitive skills they are checking special reasoning they are checking so how do you visualize when you see this from the top what kind of view it will come are you are you in position to i mean make that now should i know this kind of things that depends on the requirement of the job whether that job requires your knowledge for this that job will only tell but you need to prepare yourself for these kind of things Uh, similarly this also i mean missing uh, diagram so what kind of uh, diagram will fit into that this is how you have to go for it some kind of analysis right so if i give you pie chart quantitative aptitude analytical skills if i give you a pie chart can you give some kind of answer on the basis of that so this also is checking this is also your cognitive skill and then you know case studies is something which is the best he will give you a case study as a fire fighter you are required to carry out home fire safety visit in order to complete a risk assessment of property and offer the home owner advice today you have busy schedule and uh, uh, home fire safety visits uh, and it is important that you follow this uh, particular entire thing but uh, the home owner which you are talking to is struggling he is not understanding the concept so he is asking many questions so this is something which you keep on doing and the customer with whom you are dealing uh, he that customer is asking you a lot of questions so in that situation what shall you do what shall you do will you entertain him will you somehow finish your task uh, fulfill your formality what you will do so the kind of answer you will give will depict depict something about your personality so he will give you a case study and through that case study he will try to know your personality and uh, one more thing he will try to know that trait uh, which they want to check through different situation and questions do not try to bluff you should not bluff you should not tell lie because if you give different answers that is surest way that you are bluffing you are telling lie that should not be there just give what you think you should give the answer similar to that 
he may ask you different other questions also i enjoy meeting new people extrovert person will enjoy right i like helping people i sometimes make mistakes i like discussing lot of things with people i can i can't hide the secrets i reveal this to many people personalities are there so maybe intelligence bureau may they don't want particular kind kind of people i am better listener than speaker i am good in speaking i am a bad listener those kind of questions so they reveal about what kind of personality you are another case study so i advise you go through these case studies and you will understand what kind of typical problem he can give you which you have to answer an upset customer is describing a problem which action should you take uh, should be avoided so the answer which you give tells about you and your situational handling skills situational judgmental test they will give you a situation and you know your view will be judgmental of your personality customer is upset and talking and in a raised voice of following option indicate which one most effective least effective so that kind of things it it is to be uh, given similarly next case study so i provided you come out couple of case studies if you read these case studies you will in position to you know find out uh, what is the right way to answer some certain thing so they have this uh, situational questions case based uh, questions and then you have to give answer on the basis of your answer they will make some opinion about your personality so i i come to an end of this uh, then video so this is the psychometric test typical psychometric or aptitude test so whatever aptitude topics you have already done reasoning and uh, you know reasoning is also of different types like we have discussed the categories so those things for exams which you have done plus personality types whatever personality you are from just be aware psychometric test mein you have to just reveal what you are that's it don't bluff don't tell lie but prepare for certain things which quantitative aptitude uh, sorry this uh, reasoning aptitude and all these things that you should prepare so that if simple questions comes you are in position to answer it hope this video of mine will help you to prepare good for the interview in uh, intelligence bureau this particular thing was made for intelligence bureau there are so many seats for electronic and computer engineers in intelligence bureau let's go for uh, the hrs let go for the mocks this is a great opportunity to all of you through gate 2020 21 22 so let's uh, crack this thank you